in the race, I'm pretty happy. The tightest championship battle in total Super Series 97 is in the Super Special category. Only eight points between Bucks Carolyn and Wolf Peter Fumfai. Peter, a very tight situation between you and Bucks Carolyn. What are, what are your plans for the race today? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. I have to finish ahead of Bucks. And as long as I can do that, I, I will win the championship. But uh, running together with Super Trucks today, it will make it much more difficult for us. Henry Zamartin has assured himself the title for 1997 in the production vehicle category, ahead of Frank de Gleef and Richard Leake. While in the super truck category, Paolo Piazza Musso had also already taken the title ahead of Linton Draper and Cassie Kutzier. Frank, weer in the championship, how are you today better in the Man, today is still a full race. I have to try to win Henry. That's a game. Every race is full. The three categories were combined for the final round of the championship, but in the super trucks, only one of the creepy crawly Ford couriers was in action. Paolo Piazza Musso taking over his brother Claudia's super truck after experiencing mechanical problems with his own in practice. But a great start for Piazza Musso, ahead of the dealer team Toyota Hilux of Cassie Kutzier. Books Carolyn was third, leading the super special category. These spectacular super trucks are what the crowd has come to see, and this type of close racing exactly what they wanted. Piazza Musso getting a bit too much oversteer out of the left-hander. This has allowed Kutzia to close in, and now it's a run up the hill towards the stadium section. Carolyn in the lubrication equipment Chenoweth is still in the picture. Over the jump and a beautifully controlled slide by both the drivers. Carolyn fights with the wheel to point his super special in the right direction. Now Kutzia has moved closer to Piazza Musso and he's pushing hard. The creepy crawly Ford driver will have to absorb the pressure and make sure he doesn't make the mistake that Kutzia wants him to make. Carolyn's staying in contact. Down the hill and the dealer team highlight seems to drop back a little. But coming into the twisty section at the bottom of the circuit, Kutzia seems to have the handling advantage. Ever since the debut of the dealer team Toyota Hilux towards the middle of the season, it's been a thorn in the side of the creepy crawly Ford team, and it's still continuing. The Toyota's prepared under the watchful eyes of American Tony George, while the Ford's been done over by Nye Frank, also from the United States. Now, Kutzia gets inside Piazza Musso. There's contact, and yes, he's through. This is the best view of the menacing, creepy crawly Ford Courier, dodging and diving around to find a way back into the lead. Just listen to the way that Kutzia is using the power by playing with the throttle. Great entertainment for the crowd, and four laps into the race in the production vehicle category, Frank de Cliff was leading in his VW Beetle, ahead of Henry Zamartin in his Chev. Miguel Aegis called it a day as Max Moore in his WPP Wingfoot third in the Super Specials and Richard Leake in the Castrol Toyota Hilux third in the production vehicles moved past. Meanwhile, Kutsia was still leading. Oh, and Piazza Musso locks his brakes and plows into the bank. That's going to put him back a bit. Carolyn comes round the left-hander and Piazza Musso has carried straight on, taking the long sweep at the bottom of the circuit. Piazza Musso has lost a lot of ground in that incident and buries his foot in the corner as he accelerates up the hill. Flat out into the stadium section, in the air, and as he lands, he blows his right rear tyre. That's going to cost him dear. Kutsi is pulling away fast in his dealer team Toyota Hilux, probably still unaware of Piazza Musso's problem. Richard Leake calls it a day in his Castrol Toyota Hilux. Piazza Musso will find that his creepy crawly Ford Courier doesn't handle at all. And although the inner tyre still seems to be okay, he'll have to be very careful not to cause any further damage. Steady, steady on the downhill, early on the brakes, and don't worry about Bucks Carolyn closing in. The creepy crawly Ford is throwing its tail all over the place. Carolyn's through in the lubrication equipment Chenoweth, and Richard Leake has got his Castrol Hilux going again. All Piazza Musso is now going to try and do is finish the race and score some points. And that's the way it turned out, with Kasi Kutzia taking the dealer team Toyota Hilux to a deserved victory. Henry Zamartin took the production vehicle category, while Bucks Carolyn extended his lead over Wolf Peter Fumfai in the Super Specials. Kasi, did it really make it easy? Yeah, I didn't expect it. I thought it was so easy to go by Paula to go. 
En uh, gelukkig was hij so'n beetje taktiek betrokken geweest en ik het voorbij gegaan en uh, was eigenlijk makkelijk om te wen. Hij je daarom ook een paar wil gaan? Ja, ik moet niet dat vergeet nie, uh, ons het ook ons voordele en nadele gehad, door een gereis papiele gehad en uh, ek was zeker maar sy geweest.